Hi. You're looking at this because you either want to buy Comic Workshop or you've already bought it and you don't understand how to use it. Well, I'm going to help you out with that. So, coming down here to the menu, there's Time to Draw, right over here. We have our tutorials. You should definitely read that, but it's not going to help you out completely, so you'd want to come back to this. Uh, which hand do you use? That's going to help you out with your drawing hand and your quick buttons. Now, instead of going through the tutorials, let's just head into Time to Draw. Now here I've got two files that I've already started up. To create a new file, you'll come up over here to the plus sign. Click on that. You want to create a new folder. Obviously, you're going to want to do that. Then you can pick your screen size. You can uh, customize by how you want, or you can come down here for illustration or standard manga size. That also does include basic comic book size if you're into this for comic book. Okay, let's head into this folder. Click open. Now, these papers don't really show you what you've put on them. However, you can click on this blue button up here. It will give you dis the description. This is obviously page 6. There's 5 frames in it. Current state is clean copy. Right up here, uh, when you hit the blue button, it will allow you to put in a description of what you're working on, whether it be so you have an idea of remembering what's on the page or some ideas that you want to go down. Let's add a new page. We'll click on this plus side. Do you want to create a new page? Yes, I do. Okay, it's loading up. Now you have different styles of blanks and stuff that you can come... Well, you have your blank, I should say. This allows you to uh, create your own framework, so if you want a special kind of frame that's not in the pre-gens, you can click on that, you can edit things around. Uh, you can... We'll just go with uh, this two frame here. We'll open that up. Saving. You want to save often. That is very important. Alrighty. So now this is what's called a draft phase. Now you can sit there and if you click on buttons like this, it'll allow you to add more squares and stuff. If you uh, get your pencil, you can uh, zoom in, uh, do a rough draft of what you want to draw, which I'm not going to get into right now. Maybe if you guys want a video later, I'll uh, give a quick lesson on that. However, uh, okay, sorry, there might be a little blip and... Uh, I'm a little off course now, I had to do something real quick. Alright, anyways, uh, if you press this pencil here, that will allow you to, uh, you know, rough draft things in. Now we'll open this up by pressing down. You'll notice that there's not a lot of uh, items here. You're going to be like, where's my colors and stuff, man? Unfortunately, this is uh, the storyboard rough draft. There's no colors for that, and I'm getting into that right now. Uh, now, what you're going to want to do is back this up. All right, so after you rough draft everything, you want to come to this. You'll have a bunch of save options and music options. You don't want to come here to clean copy. Make your clean copy. It's saving it. And here we go. Sooner or later. Alright, now, when you come down and you start trying to figure out how to use this, it's going to be kind of confusing. Here's the number one thing. It's very easy. Click on the panel that you want. After you click on the panel you want, here are all your colors. Yay! So, once you have your rough draft out, you can color everything in, or if you want to head straight into color and just do things freehand, this is a good way to do it too. Um, aside from colors, uh, you click over here, that will give you all your options. Let's scroll, I'll bring down this item screen. Okay, so, obviously you have your color, your color palettes and stuff by clicking there. You click on your tools. That will give you all your tools between text, text bubble, uh, pictures and stuff. Now the pictures will allow you to use anything that can be saved on your DS for pictures. Now let's go over here. That includes what you can do on uh, Art Academy, uh, 
3D colors and this one right here uh, I'm in the movies that's good if you wanna have some type of special effects where it's like a picture of people and zeros and ones or heat censored awesome stuff for that um, but I'm not gonna get into that right now uh, let's get back over to our system now for a quick idea of what you can do I'm not gonna get into too much of this but I will show you what I have done using the pictures and a couple of stamps let's uh, go all the way back I will go over to say this one open up this is what a final product should kind of look like when you do photos and I've used my son's Legos to create these comics now it doesn't look like much, so let's uh, whoop. let's zoom in here. As you can tell, you can uh, have a nice little array of things. And the splash pictures and stuff really do go into complementing certain uh, things that you do in here. Sorry for the bad camera angles, but I'm holding this by hand, and my DS is broken. That's right. My little knob came off. I gotta fix that or buy a new one. I love my 3DS XL, but this plastic casing, unfortunately, after a while, it breaks. This is about three years old, and I've brought this into my workplace. It's my MP3 player and stuff. It's my uh, manager. I love my 3DS. Anyways, let's open this up. Alright. Yeah, so, that's about it. Um, and you can always, always go back in and redo things. So, like I said, here's kind of a, a small example. The boom for when uh, my skeleton breaks out of his glass and throws it. There's the oblivious... Uh, guard Jeff just ignoring everything. Let's go in here real quick. To edit, all you gotta do is click on it. It'll allow you to re-edit things. You can draw in there all you want. Ah! So that's just a quick tutorial on how to do things uh, to get into your colors. That's how you'll access your stamps and stuff. Other than that, fool around, learn, get things wrong. It's how you're gonna learn. And you know what? Have fun with it.